guys, it's Nikki here. I'm here to do my beginning of the month review. It is a spoiler review for Caging Skies by Christine Lunens. The movie Jojo Rabbit was based off of it, so I will be reviewing that as well, hopefully next week. Uh, I just have to be able to track down where I can watch it. I decided to read the book because I want to watch the movie, and based on how it was described to me, I thought it would be like Boy in the Striped Pajamas meets Number the Stars by Lois Lowry, but with like slightly more adult content. And I mean, it was sort of like that. It was a young boy growing up in Nazi-occupied Vienna. And you get some of that and then some of his life later. But it also wasn't like that. And it was like a lot more disturbing than I was expecting. So that... It, it was, it caught me off guard. I know it says it on the back, so it won't be too spoilery. But the part of the reason it gets so dark is he t does become obsessed with this girl who his parents are hiding from the Nazis because she's Jewish. And it's just, it's a very strange, very disturbing situation. And with that out of the way, I'll go talk about my likes and dislikes. <laughs> um, I did really like following... I really liked following Child Johannes, who is the main character. And I liked it because it gave you a good idea of what it was like to be a child during Nazi, Nazi occupation, especially somewhere like Austria, where they were kind of like, oh, we're just reclaiming more German heritage, blah, 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 bullshit. I also, to some extent, enjoyed how it explores power dynamics and relationships. like not only with Johannes in his life, um, in his house, but also kind of Johannes with everybody else and how Nazi parties and stuff kind of resulted in certain things. And my final like is that although I found the ending really disturbing, I liked not liking Johannes. And that's just because I really do enjoy hating a character, which sounds dumb. But I enjoy it. And that's really all I'm gonna say here for my likes. I'll move to my dislikes now. Uh, my first negative is that Johannes's childhood was kind of rushed through. I feel like it wasn't as in-depth a look as I personally would have liked. And as such, I feel like there were some things that resulted in how he was later in the book that could have been more explored when he was younger. My second negative is that like the lies that Johannes tells, I don't know how they weren't seen through. I was always under the impression that like, the consequences for things were so much worse and that, like, people like the Gestapo and the Nazi party militia were, like, a lot more thorough. And then my last negative is the dark parts. Um, they were very disturbing and hard to read. I had to put the, continuously put the book down to take a break. Um, and although I still enjoyed reading it, even though it was hard, I know that people who have suffered abuse, especially uh, abuse from like a romantic partner, would be <laughs> likely be very, very triggered by this. And so, although it's a small negative for me, I can see it being a lot bigger negative for other people. So, I should have said this at the beginning, big trigger warning for abuse in this book. <laughs> and with that, I will jump quickly to the characters and then do a quick wrap up. Uh, I'm not really going to say anything too much about the characters other than Johannes because a lot of the side characters and his family, you really kind of discover their personalities by reading between the lines of what hit of his perspective. Um, and that leads me to talk about Johannes and his perspective. You see that it's really biased, but it also was like a really intriguing mix, at least at first, of innocence and like that kind of cultural brainwashing that the Nazis went for. And even though it was disturbing, it was a very interesting arc watching him go from that child to the adult he became. And other than that, I really don't have a lot to say about the characters. It's one of those books where you, to understand what I'm talking about, you really need to read the book yourself. Uh, although I... be careful with that. <laughs> and so now I'll just run to my wrap up. I gave this book three out of five stars because I found the front half completely immersive and the back half just very hard to read because of how dark it was. So 
even though overall I enjoyed the book, I thought it was, you know, good. That's why I gave it a three. It wasn't brilliant or awe-inspiring or anything like that. I really enjoyed starting with the child's eye of the Nazi party and what it was like to live in that kind of situation and how that kind of situ those social elements resulted in a specific kind of person. But this isn't a book I would recommend to people lightly. There are a few core friends of mine that I would probably recommend this to, especially those who've seen Jojo Rabbit who would really enjoy it. And, but outside of that, I'd be really hesitant because of the big abuse trigger. And so that's kind of what I'm gonna pass on to you. If you have watched the movie and wanna read the book, go for it. But if you're looking, and if you're looking for kind of a disturbing, different perspective of World War II, this would be something to try. You just have to be very careful with the back half because it is very, very disturbing. With that, I will leave you guys and see you in the next video. Bye.